Imagine standing on Neptune, the distant ice giant of our solar system. You would experience supersonic winds that are whipped up to an astonishing 1500 miles per hour, seven to eight times more powerful than the fiercest hurricanes on Earth. It's an ongoing onslaught that is relentless where average temperatures plummet to a bone chilling minus 214 degrees Celsius, a staggering 228 degrees Celsius colder than our home planet. And since its discovery in 1846, it has only completed one solitary orbit around the Sun, during which time humanity has gone through an industrial revolution that reshaped societies, expanded our universe with the discoveries made by Hubble, navigated two world wars, and in one of the greatest human feats ever, set foot on the lunar surface. All this completed before Neptune had returned to the same location in space where we had first found it 164.8 years earlier. So join me, the Cosmic Skipper, as we take a look at Neptune and discover what drives and shapes the planet's extreme atmosphere. Situated 2.8 billion miles from the Sun, Neptune's elliptical orbit around it is a staggering 30 times farther out than Earth's orbit. Its axial tilt of 28.32 degrees contributes to the climatic seasons that can last 40 years and significantly influence the atmospheric conditions for decades. The planet's atmosphere is notably blue throughout its surface, inspiring its name, which is derived from the mythological god of the sea, Neptune. It's not the primary atmospheric constituents of 80% hydrogen and 19% helium that drives Neptune's distinctive blue colour, but rather it's the trace element methane which absorbs the red wavelength of light and reflecting back only the blue wavelength to give us the brilliant blues we observe. Even though the Sun contributes to the decade-long seasons Neptune has, Unlike on Earth, they are not the major contributor driving the planet's dynamic atmosphere. Other forces are at work that make it the windiest planet in the solar system. During its flyby in August 1989, Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to visit Neptune, observed a colossal atmospheric disturbance within the planet's atmosphere, known as the Great Dark Spot. This dark vortex, large enough to engulf an Earth-sized object, is believed to be influenced by Neptune's rapid 16-hour rotation and the planet's internal heat energy. The internal heat energy of the planet is a remnant from the planet's formation and early gravitational contraction. As this heat escapes from Neptune's interior, it creates an upwelling of warm gases in the atmosphere. As these gases rise, they encounter cooler atmospheric layers, giving rise to the formation of winds. The planet's swift 16-hour rotation plays a crucial role in mixing and shaping the atmospheric circulation, contributing to the colossal and powerful winds that reach speeds of up to 1500 miles an hour. These mechanisms are believed by scientists to be at play and lead to the creation and shaping of the great dark spot we see today. Earth completes one orbit around the Sun by travelling a distance of 584 million miles. In contrast, Neptune, on its journey around the Sun, covers an astonishing 17.7 billion miles. This fast distance places Neptune a staggering 30 astronomical units away from the Sun, with Earth being only one astronomical unit. Considering that sunlight and heat energy received by a planet are inversely proportional to the square of its distance from the Sun, Neptune receives approximately 1 900th of the solar energy that Earth does. Consequently, Neptune is an extremely cold planet, maintaining an average temperature of around minus 214 degrees Celsius. This intense cold significantly influences and contributes to the distinctive features found on Neptune and plays a crucial role in the formation of icy clouds and the development of storms that are prevalent across the planet. Neptune is the fourth largest planet in the solar system and at 17 times the mass of Earth it exerts a significant gravitational influence within its neighbourhood. 
This vast influence has led scientists to propose a hypothesis regarding Neptune's moon Triton, which is the seventh largest moon in the solar system. It is believed that Neptune captured Triton from the Kuiper belt, a notion supported by its retrograde orbit contrary to the planet's rotation. Boasting a diameter of 2,700 kilometers and revealing a diverse landscape that features icy plains, ridges and impact craters, Triton is gravitationally affected by Neptune, where tidal heating is induced deep within Triton, causing cryovolcanism on its surface, a phenomenon that results in the eruption of geysers that expel nitrogen, water and ammonia compounds into the Moon's tenuous nitrogen atmosphere. Discovered a mere 17 days after Neptune's discovery by British astronomer William Lassell on October 10, 1846, Triton holds the distinction of being the largest of Neptune's 14 moons. With a gradual spiralling towards Neptune, Triton is on a trajectory that is destined for an inevitable collision with the planet at some point in the future, that will ultimately result in the moon's destruction. Yet, despite the potential loss of its moon, the Neptunian system's evolution will persist, and regardless of the number of orbits it makes around the Sun, it will still be one heck of a windy and cold planet. Thank you so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed it, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing if you've not already done so. Your support is greatly appreciated.